Hi, fancy facers. Hello. Um, happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about this blue beauty right here. Um, I've had so many people lately um, ask me like, well, like, do I need to use that one first or do I have to use that one? Or some people who are kind of new to Cinegents and new to lip scent say like, you know, I don't, I, I've, I've got my own. I'll just use my own. So I wanted to hop on real quick. Hey, Allie. Hey, girl. Um, and tell you guys about the importance of glossy gloss. Hey, Trip. Um, but y'all, P.S. Don't mind my nails, please. I just picked off my manicure. So they're a little crazy. So I'm a little ashamed to show you my gloss. But I really did want to show you um, and talk to you real quick about the importance of glossy gloss. Because I feel like this is something that people don't quite get. Um, but I want you to understand that there's the longevity of your lip sense, the longevity of how long your color stays is all dependent on this puppy right here, okay? So this is straight, it's vitamin E and shea butter. It's so good for your lips. Like, I mean, works wonders on your lips. P.S. Wear this like on days when you're not wearing color. If you're just like, instead of reaching for chapstick, you reach for your glossy gloss. Cause what it does is this permeates through your lip color and hydrate your lips. It allows for natural exfoliation, so your lips are able to breathe. They are able to, you know, shed the skin when they need to. This allows for that. If you use other things, if you, you know, go back to your, we won't say the other company, but like, you know, the, we'll call them Annie's Angels, but the Burt's Bees, <laughs> you know, you go back to your normal chapstick and that's gonna put a layer of wax back on your lips that you've worked so hard to get rid of. So the reason Glossy Gloss is so good is because it is a patent system, y'all. It works with your lip color to penetrate through the color to moisturize your lips whereas other things just don't don't do it the other question well okay so there's three parts a what is it right vitamin e and shea butter straight on your lips it moisturizes through your color that is why your color can stay so long because it goes through your color if you put on any other type of gloss on top of your color your sol like it's gonna start breaking it down and it's gonna start like womp womp um so Y'all, if I say something that you're like, oh, yes, like, feel free to drop some loves. Or if I say something that makes you just think I'm the stupidest girl in the world, feel free to give me some laugh faces, too. <laughs> just so I know you're there. Um, okay, so it is vitamin E and shea butter, right? It moisturizes your lips. The other thing that I get is, well, can I just put on the matte gloss or can I just put on my Boogan Mia gloss instead? Ugh, no, I don't recommend it. You can, you can, right? But let's say I just, this is Be Mine. This is what I'm trying all the colors for you guys so you know what they look like. This is Be Mine. And then I actually just put, I don't know if you can tell. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, put the prism gloss on too, which I love because it doesn't pick up. It's not just pink glitter gloss or gold. It picks up everything. Um, so I put that on first. But y'all, our glitter glosses, because all of our products, they are, 98% natural, 2% science. Hello, that's fantastic. The glitter in it, they're little um, like specks of mica, right? So that's a natural, um, like a mineral. They're little specks of mica. And what that would do, if I was to put that right on top of my pink lips, it's gonna, that, those little specks of mica, it's gonna start to break down my color faster. So I always say, as soon as you put on, you know, you're right in here, you just, uh, you're doing your cinnagent slurp, like, I can't talk, can't touch my lips, let my lips are dry. You put on your glossy gloss, you rub it in, you wait two seconds, and then you can put on whatever. I, you know, wait 10 minutes if you can, but I'm not a very uh, patient person, so I normally just put it on, like, right afterwards. Um, so you put on your glossy gloss first, and then you can put on whatever other, like, the matte gloss or any of the shimmer glosses, or if you're, <gasps> I'm going to get some of the new pink sand gloss. I'm so excited about it. I will put that, I put that glossy on first. And then I put that on. So that was that, right? So it is vitamin and shea butter. It breaks it down. And then the other part um, is that some people are like, well, do I really even need it? Yeah, y'all, you do. <laughs> it is a patent system. It works best. Your color prolongs it best, right, with this. So don't use the other stuff. You just use this. Um, oh, birds. Um, and then the last thing, everybody's like, how often do you have to apply gloss? Y'all, this is a, this is like a personal preference thing. But I will tell you, your lip color stays longer the more you apply it, right? So it is recommended that you put it on before you eat or after because it puts a protective layer between like um, your drink or 
your food or whatever it may be, it puts a protective layer there. So they say if you want it to prolong your color, you put it on. If you want to um, hydrate your lips, you put it on. I know some people who like keep it down in like in their cleave. So it's just right there, ready to go when you need it. I'm not necessarily one of those girls, but I know like people just use it. If you use it all the time, you're not always one to like look for it. I mean, I keep one like in my purse. I keep one by my bedside table. I keep one by my makeup where I put one on. I keep one downstairs, but it depends. It's different for each person. Some people put it on all the time. I would if I remembered because I love, love, love the way it feels. Like it is so silky smooth. I love it. Some people put it on all the time. I just, I have a tendency to put it on when my lips are feeling dry. At that point, it's probably too late. Like I probably should have put some on earlier, but that, that is totally a personal preference, right? How often? So y'all, you tell me, like I see Ashley and Allie, um, Jessica and Kara, how often do you guys apply gloss? Cause you guys are all like good users. How often do you apply gloss? Like it really does. Um, I mean, it just, it depends on the person. So there's no right or wrong. Well, the wrong answer would be none, right? <laughs> but it is, it's just a personal preference. You apply when, before you eat, if you can, you apply when your lips are starting to feel dry, but the, the more you apply, the longer your lips will wear. So I just wanted to hop on real quick and tell you guys the importance of glossy gloss. It is very important. And the importance on the flip side, I don't have when mine feels dry or before I eat. See, kerosene four times a day. See that? I mean, that's about right, y'all. I'd probably apply, I think I'll probably apply like four times a day. Because by the end, I always forget and I'm like, okay, I can, and I sit there and I will like scrub my lips with my fingers. Probably not the best thing to do. Um, but to just kind of rub my, my color off because I'm like, okay. I haven't, I haven't done it enough, so it's gone or I need to reapply. But the more you apply your gloss, the longer your color will stay. I will also tell you guys, do not underestimate the power of oops. I don't have that out here with me. Do not underestimate the power of oops. There are other people. Y'all, I have met two ladies in the past, like, three or four weeks that are like, well, you know, I have my own. Um, one, of the, one of the women that I met in, um, like, when I was traveling was like, I have my own. And it works great. And y'all, it does, you know, you definitely want to exfoliate your lips. But the oops is there. It's a patent system, y'all. It works best when you use it together. So use your oops to um, to take your color off. Put it on. And I used to, like, put it on and try to swipe it off and be like, it's not coming off as well. Because you need to give it a minute. Like, put it on. Rub your lips together. Let it sit for a second. And then get a warm washcloth and take it off. Takes it off simple, right? Or use some shea butter body cream. That stuff is the jam. Um... You can use other stuff, but the Oops is great. Use it as a primer. I use it all the time as a primer. If I'm not, like I do like that, but if not, the best way is to use Oops. So I just wanna tell you guys, the power of a glossy gloss. It is vitamin E and shea butter. It allows for natural exfoliation. My lips are in the best shape they've been all of my life, right? This past year, um, I don't need chapstick. I don't need any of that stuff. My lips are like, they're in the best shape that they've ever been in. They are hydrated, they are moisturized, they're voluminous, they're plump. Um, all because I use, like, our products are fabulous. So, don't underestimate the power of Glossy Gloss or Oops. But they help prolong your color. It's vitamin E and shea butter. You put it on right after, and then you can use the specialty gloss if you want to. And put it on probably four to five times a day. You know, three to five probably. Definitely right after you apply. And, and more throughout the day if you need to. But I just wanted to hop on because I feel like I've heard a lot lately, like, well, why do I really need, you know, why do I need oops? Why do I need glossy gloss? What's the importance of it? So I wanted to tell you guys. Also, um, your color, just to remind you guys, your color has a mechanical shield equivalent to SPF 50. We're at the beach, y'all. This is why I have it on. Um, but we're right by the camp, so the, the choppers fly by over. So that's what you're hearing. Sorry. Um, but this protects you from the sun, too. So there's so much good stuff about our lip scents that happens. So it does protect you from the sun. Keep your gloss, you know, keep your gloss with you and apply it for your lips as well. But it definitely does help you out and it definitely does. And again, it moisturizes and it conditions. Like why, why would you not want to put this on, right? So you put it on because it helps prolong your color. You put it on because it doesn't break it down. You put it on as a middle layer between this and a specialty gloss because those little specks of mica will start to break down your color. So if you're putting on like Bougainvillea or a glitter gloss, put on your glossy gloss first. Always lock in with glossy gloss then you can put on your mat, then you can do whatever. But this will hydrate, it'll moisten, it'll condition, it does everything for your lips. We did just come out with a, a lip conditioner though, y'all. 
it comes like in the tube like our lip balm a little bit bigger though um, and you put it on and it's like an exfoliator for your lips it's really great if anybody's interested I'm happy to um, I think I've got two I got one for myself and I think I got two extra so if anybody wants that just let me know but glossy gloss is so important there's no substitute y'all <laughs> not a one so I hope you have a great day I just wanted to drop some drop some knowledge on you this Monday um, about glossy gloss because it really is a very important tool in sustaining your lip sense color and prolonging um, and getting longevity out of your color. So, I hope you have a great day. Go find a color um, that won't rub off, that stays throughout your beach day, whatever you need to do. Um, stay fabulous and stay fancy. So, if you're wearing a specialty gloss and you're reapplying throughout the day, you apply gloss. No. Allie, that's a great question. So, you don't. So, as long as you've applied your glossy gloss first, um, she said, so, okay, so I put my Be Mine on earlier this morning and I put on my glossy gloss. If I want to apply later, do I have to put on my glossy gloss first? No, because you've already locked in your color, right? It, it has put that initial barrier. So if you put the gloss, so let's say I put the, you know, I put on my Be Mine this morning and then I put on glossy gloss and then I put on the prism gloss. If I apply later, do I have to do glossy and then prism again? I don't because I already, I had that protective initial barrier, right? Between the glossy gloss and the specialty gloss. And then after that, I had, like if I was gonna put glossy gloss on again, it, it, I've got like a layer of glossy, then a layer of prism, then a layer of glossy. So I, I've already got a different buffer in there. So no need to reapply the glossy gloss afterwards. I like, mm -mm. I just carry my Bougain V or my, my prism gloss or my pink sand when it gets here. Um, but that's a great question. No, you don't have to reapply your glossy gloss then. You could just put on your, but after you, your initial thing, lock it in girl, lock it in with glossy gloss, right? very important so okay i hope y'all have a great day stay fabulous and stay fancy Allie. great question thank you so much for asking that um and yeah y'all have a great day stay fancy bye y'all